Hello, my name is Dr. Moon Dahl, and this is Art Talk. Art Talk is a show that I do every Tuesday where I show, share with you the art creations that I make and why I make these creations. Um, I emphasize um, using recycled and upcycled materials and um, expressing yourself freely. When you create art, it's yours and yours alone, and you have that time that you spend, that you set aside for yourself to do something that makes you feel good. <laughs> so today I'm going to share with you a few of the creations I've been working on and a few of the things that I'm going to be putting on my Etsy shop. If you haven't seen my Etsy shop, you could go there, uh, check it out. I have a, a plethora of different types of things I am selling on there. So yeah, it's www.darkmoondoll.etsy.com and I will put a link down below and I'll try to put it into the video too so it'll be easy for you guys to just go to it. <laughs> I'm going to have some of my tea here. I'm drinking uh, some black tea with lime juice in it for the winter season or fall season, not winter yet. I'm blowing my nose. don't want to blow my nose right in front of the screen here. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> I want to show you this one. This one's almost done. It's a handbag. I make handbags and purses. Well, it's more of a purse than a handbag because a purse is smaller than a handbag. <laughs> so this is a, um, it's a doll purse. It has a doll head. It's like a doll head purse. And there's two different faces on each side. Every single paper bead I made, rolled and hand rolled and made myself. Um, and if you look at my previous videos, I have some video tutorials on how I make my paper beads. So if you're watching this video, I mean watching this channel for the first time and this show for the first time, then just know that uh, you could go back in the history of my art, <laughs> art and creativity like videos on here, and see how I make my paper beads. If you'd like to f request for me to make another tutorial on how I make my paper beads, uh, leave in the comments below. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, basically when I make these purses, I use all recycled fabrics. Um, you see how the face is like camouflage, like the face part is like camouflage fabric. This was from a, a pair of camouflage shorts somebody gave me that they didn't like. And they were like, uh, they were like, hey, just here you go. So... And that's basically how I come across a lot of my, my a lot of my fabrics. I don't go to a fabric store and buy fabrics. I just use recycled fabrics and materials. And now um, on the other side, like you see that eye in the middle, the third eye, that was made with recycled fabrics. It was a, a hand uh, sewn uh, cloth. I guess you could call it like kind of like a bead, a huge bead, but I made an eye. <laughs> for a third eye. <laughs> There's so much going on on this purse, okay? So let me open it up. It's very small and what you can put in it is not much. You could probably fit like your lip gloss and cell phone and keys probably in it. So let me see if I can get that part open. There we go. See that's like a little button there and then you open it up. Let's step back. You open it up and then See, let me put my hand in there and you can see how much you can get in there. See that? So it's for fancy occasions when you go out. Like if you go to like a, uh, go to a festival or something and you just want to bring your wallet and your keys and that's it or something and your cell phone, all of that will fit into this little bus. I'm almost done with it. And it's going to go to my shop, I'm guessing tomorrow, so... You can check out my shop for it tomorrow if you're interested in it. Sometimes the things I create, uh, I like them so much I don't want to sell them. But I'm not going to keep everything. <laughs> so yeah. A lot of times when it doesn't sell, I'll just keep it. Or I'll just relist it again. Depends. So yeah, that's that one. And um, I start off basically when I make all of my purses, I start off with like a square base I just cut out a square of fabric 
and I put those, I put, uh, well, I cut up two squares of fabric, and I like to double them up so that they're, uh, a lot of times I do, I like to double it up, but not all the time. If you double it up, then I don't have to, like, line it, but, um, yeah, anyway, I sew those two, uh, squares of fabric together, leaving the top open so that, you know, you have a purse part where you can actually put things into it. And then um, I try to find a zipper if I can, and usually I recycle zippers, and I just take zippers off of pants people have given me or whatever, and just sew it on the top like I did with this one. Just sewed it on the top. So I keep talking one uh, while I show you this next purse that I've been working on for quite a while. A lot of the things I do don't happen overnight. A lot of things I do take a lot of time and effort. Someone was asking me why is my stuff so expensive the reason why is a lot of time and effort made into it that goes into it you know um and a lot of the materials that i'm making can be homemade not all of the materials but a lot of the materials i'm taking like with this i'm taking like uh recycled fabrics and making like cloth beads out of it and putting the designs on there and these designs were put on there with a fabric uh fabric pen or fabric marker, I mean. So, this kind of stuff, I mean, what I do, what I create, isn't arts and crafts. <laughs> it's not arts and crafts. Which it goes far beyond. It's art. It's uh, fine art, in my opinion. Okay, and so on the other side, I've got, like, kind of like a tree. Well, not kind of a tree right here. And I was trying to make the bark, like, uh, all beads, paper beads. See that? <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys that uh, there's nothing you can't do when you're uh, in a creative space. And this is the other side of the purse. And this one will be done uh, pretty soon. I'd say by next week. I've been working on it for quite a while. And see how I did the zipper on the top? I found the zipper on uh, the shirt I didn't really like. And so I just used the zipper. It's as easy as that. All of this pretty much, yeah, all of this is recycled, upcycled fabrics and materials. And this right here, this uh, Cyclops head there, doll head, that was something I made. I was going to use it as a dread bead, but I didn't really like it as a dread bead. So I incorporated it onto this purse. So yeah, look at that. What do you think of that, guys? And there's two goddess, African goddess figures on here. These are little dolls that I made myself. And, um, yeah. I will definitely have that one done soon. What I like to do a lot of times when I do these purses and handbags, is someone gives me fabric, like say jean fabric, instead of having the jeans just sitting around and piling up into piles, uh, what I'll do is make, um, I guess you could ca can call them like um, like purse kind of a I don't know if it's a pattern but I guess it's a pattern purse like like kind of like purse dummies or whatever where there's no design on I just cut the squares and sew them together and just uh, have a bunch of those ready to go if I want to make a purse right away and I've got a lot of those <laughs> so I want to show you um, you guys may remember that. That one porcelain doll I was doing a repaint on that I turned into an angel. And I said it was going to be a musical muse type of angel. Well, yeah. I've still been working on her. I just haven't shared her lately. But I've been doing the front. And the front's been taking a while. But here is what she looks like so far. <laughs> Let me stand up and get out of her way. So you can see her instead of me. But yeah, it's coming along really great. Um, I paper mache her body. Her body, my friend uh, Wendy gave me this doll. The uh, some of the pieces were kind of on the doll were kind of uh, a little fragile, so that's why I paper mache it. Her face I didn't paper mache, but I put uh, acrylic paints and uh, what was it um, metallic nail enamels on the face for the uh, tribal uh, face paint on there. The wings are made from recycled like sheet fabric that I painted with uh, acrylic paints and uh, and the metallic uh, nail enamels. So the back is still <laughs> kind of rough, you see that? So basically what I'm going to do is work on the back of this today. See the guitars on there? <laughs> and uh, 
and I do so get something going on with the hair and yeah so that's how that's coming so far like I said um, it's always good to try to recycle and upcycle things instead of just throwing them in the trash because what ends up happening is a lot of these things broken dolls and stuff like that ends up into a big heap of uh, trash in a landfill and it contributes to uh, the uh, lowering in the quality of our environment, the air that we breathe. So why not make some art out of this stuff instead of throwing it in the trash? Just got a little feather in there. I love feathers. I co I it seems like I collect feathers, but I just find them all the time. So I just pick them up and I use it, incorporate it into my artwork. So that's how she's coming along. She's gonna fly away on out of here. <laughs> and here's the next doll I wanted to show you. This is a, a cloth doll. It's all cloth doll. I showed you last week, I think, um, this doll, two-sided doll. I did a little bit more to her, as you can see. Her hair is green. She's got, like, you know, necklaces or kind of like a cuff type deal on around her neck. And bracelets here. It's all cloth, except for the uh, the dress is made from a napkin that I liked, that I decided to Mod Podge and paint. If you don't know what Mod Podge is, Mod Podge is a sealant that you can buy and purchase at craft stores. And basically what it does is seals in the color of whatever art project you're working on so that the paint won't chip off. And I like Mod Podge a lot for that. And it adds a three-dimensional uh, quality to whatever you're working on. I didn't, I haven't Mod Podge her face on this side yet, so that's why it's not done yet. But after I'm done with it, Mod Podging it, I think she'll be done and ready to be put on the shop. So, yeah, another feather, courtesy of Wendy. Thanks, Wendy. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's that one I was working on last week. All cloth, all hand sewn, all hand painted. Um, yeah. And yeah, I make the I make the body first, and then I think about everything else afterwards. You know, it's the body parts first is what comes first. First is what comes first. <laughs> so let me show you one last doll. And I'm not sure if I showed you this one yet. I may have even showed you this last week. <laughs> I have so much art, so. <laughs> but yeah, this one right here, uh, I've been working on for quite a while. It's a shamaness doll. Um, Shamaness doll because I feel like after I finished it or I'm all, I'm pretty much finished with her um, She just has a very spiritual vibe to her very mystical to me very tribal um, I painted all the this is this doll is made out of paper clay and um, Yeah, she's made out of paper clay What I did was I put paper clay. I made a cloth body first and then I put clay, paper clay onto the cloth body. Turn her around so you can see her in the back while I'm talking about her and stand up out of the way. But yeah, I had a little booty. <laughs> I made this um, this cloth doll from start to finish handmade. Put the paper clay on there, on the body, face, arms, whatever. So little sandals here that I'm still working on. But yeah, um, all the stuff that's on her head, adorning her head, uh, this dreadlock, it's not a real dreadlock and it's not real hair. It's a dreadlock that a friend of mine made. Her name is Annette Padilla from Black Stitch Art Studios. I don't think she even exists anymore on the internet. don't know what happened to her. Um, yeah, I adorned her head with this dreadlock. It's not a real one. It's not real hair. Um, and made some dreadlocks out of uh, fabric. Colored pattern design dreadlocks out of fabric to add a little bit of color and uh, pattern to this doll and a little bit of contrast. See her face, her face, I used, her face and her body, I used, um, it was a metallic acrylic and a metallic nail enamel sky, I can't talk. Um, I used a fine tip Sharpie on here. I used some um, colored pencils in here just to experiment. And her sandals are, uh, metallic nail enamels, so are her, fing her toenails, and back here, which is interesting, I ran out of paint at one point, 
and they ran out of uh, markers. So I started using colored pencil. So I put colored pencil in there and with the design and just put tons of Mod Podge on it and the surface is so smooth and glossy and it just looks really neat to me this pattern on both sides actually so yeah she's almost done pretty much I mean I don't think there's much more I can do with her I've been working on her for probably about almost close to three years really to tell you the truth but yeah that's her that's the shamaness what yeah she's she's fun and that's why I like working with art and uh you know, making things like this because it's fun and it's being creative. And if you're in a bad mood, this can lift your mood up. The colors I use in a lot of my work are color therapy. Colors that I feel lift my mood up at the time. So whoever purchases any of these creations will get a touch of, of uh, color therapy. <laughs> I kind of like, I like too, like doing the tattoos on the body like the designs and patterns and all that kind of thing <laughs> and yeah any of these things if you'd like for me to do a tutorial on them leave it in the comments below or you can email me at blacknails31 at yahoo.com <laughs> what I'm going to do is put something on top of her head so she can hang on the wall and I've been doing it a lot more with my dolls so that they're more like a painting instead of just something you put on your shelf because I want you to be able to see both sides, if you want. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for joining me today for uh, Art Talk. Um, if there's any questions you have about my art, let me know. Um, if you want, you know, actually if you're wanting to purchase any of my art, either go to my art, you know, my art shop, my Etsy shop, www.darkmoondoll.etsy.com, or you can go to my... Um, to my email address which is blacknails31 at yahoo.com that way you can uh, get right to me if you go to my web my web not my website if you go to my email address you'll get right to me because I check my emails all the time so and uh, leaving a comment you know saying you want to buy such and such or whatever no do that just email me directly that way I see your comment right away <laughs> All right, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. Thank you for everybody who subscribed to this channel. I appreciate it. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for leaving such kind comments on my videos on this channel. <laughs> and, yeah, creativity is within all of us. If we take some time out in the day and just explore what our mind, and the mind wants to do, like with these ideas that we come up with, you never know what you're going to create when you just sit down and just do it. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I'll see you tomorrow for a free fun dreadlock talk. And until then, have a great day. Peace.